to my there's a light does that help <laughs> hello and welcome to my summer ween vlog so summer ween is one week it is friday july 2nd which is the first day of summer ween i believe it ends on july 9th but i could be right it's from that either the 9th or the 10th i cannot remember which one but as you'll have just seen i was just at half price books um, because i got off work a little early and i wanted to see if they had salem's lot and the fire next time in physical copy they didn't have Salem's Lot, but they did have The Fire Next Time. So I will show you that. It was $15 because this apparently version is out of print. So it was gonna go in their like collectible section. I think that's bullshit. Cause it's not in good shape, but I wanted to own it. So I bought it and the cover is black and orange. So it does fit. It's not the cover I wanted, but it does fit the, um, the Halloween theme, so I am planning on reading this during this vlog. Also, as I mentioned, I'm planning on reading Salem's Lot by Stephen King, which they did not have a physical copy of, um, and that's going to fulfill the horror and the paranormal prompts. I have that as an audiobook, and I've actually started listening to it, but I've only gotten through like the prologue, so not very far. There are vampires on it somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, but the other thing I found while I was there that you will have seen, oh, I guess I should mention the brick. I got Les Mis. <laughs> Last time I was there, they only had a copy that was like this tall and the print was really really tiny so I thought if they got if I went back and they had a huge copy that has bigger print the print is still pretty small I'm not gonna lie to you but this I think will be easier for me to see and read and Victoria at a musical bookworm is hosting a Les Mis read along that I'm wanting to participate in I haven't fully decided it's July and August I don't know if I can commit to this but I bought this in case I decide that I will. And it was only $8, so that's not bad. I've seen the musical and that's all I know about it. So I'm not really going to give you a great whatever uh, description or synopsis right now. But I got that. I also found the Suki Sackow series. And I have been wanting to read these. I think the TV show True Blood. Is that? Yes. The TV series True Blood is based off of this series. And it's just like paranormal romance vampire books. So I thought maybe I'll get to them during Summerween because that would fulfill the, the uh, paranormal prompt as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but also, I've just been wanting to read these for a while. I know my boyfriend's mom kind of likes them. Um, she doesn't really like the show very much, I don't think. But she at least liked the first few books. And we tend to have sort of similar tastes. Um, so I'm excited to read these and see what I think of them. It just seems like a fun series that I would like. I just feel like paranormal romance was my thing when I was way younger, obviously with like Twilight, and I think it could still be my thing now. So I'm manifesting. I was bummed that they only had the first, uh, they only had this style of the, or like this cover of the first book in the series, because the other ones are all like really cute little um, drawings. And also Charlene Harris lives in Arkansas now, so. Pretty cool, I think. I think she lives in Magnolia. I want to say she lives in Magnolia, Arkansas, which is like a small town, and I have family who lives there. Who live there, I guess? Lives there? I feel like I just sounded really country. My bad. But I am excited to read these, so hopefully I enjoy them because I did buy four. But they were $3 each, so I have to do chores now. So I'm gonna, I think, put on my audiobook of Salem's Lot while I do laundry and stuff really quick. And Matt is going to come tonight with the dogs. It's 4th of July weekend, which is a holiday weekend. Um, I don't really consider 4th of July a holiday, but I do enjoy getting a day off work. So I don't have work on Monday because the 4th is Sunday. So I'm going to buy vegan hot dogs. It's going to be a time. And I'm going to have a good, I'm going to have a good 4th of July. And I hope you did too. Um, and hopefully I'm going to get through at least the three books that I said I was going to read. Did I mention what the third one was? I don't think I did. It's The Chain by Adrian McKenty. Let me grab it. This is the other book that I'm planning on trying to read this week, which I got at the same half-price books, but on a different half-price books trip. I talked about this more in my last book haul, so I'll link that somewhere in case you wanted to see it. I also got two Carly Simon cassette tapes. We got Boys in the Trees and Coming Around Again. I love Carly Simon, okay? That's that. That's it. I'm going to do chores, and I will catch up with you later. 
sweet, delectable you who came sweeping in just like you knew we were meant to unite. Is this really happening, or am I swirling through a dream? I can't believe it's happening, 'cause it's so. Hi. Um, sorry, excuse the mess behind me. I got new tripods, and I also got other stuff that's just up there. But um, my pillow is on the couch. Uh, so it's Monday. I picked up Ring Shout by Peter Jelly Clark, which you will have already seen um, from the B-roll. But I've read like the first two chapters of this. I'm like 50 pages in, not very far at all. Um, I just woke up from a nap because. It's the day after the 4th of July, which means I didn't have work today, but it also means that Matt and the dogs who were here this weekend left today. Um, I don't know how much b-roll I got of them with them in it, but um, they were here. But I'm finally reading again for Summer Ween, but I do. I always take a nap when they leave. I don't know why. I'm just always so exhausted. Um, so usually I will nap for like the two and a half. I will hang out for like an hour after they leave, and then I'll like nap for like two to two and a half hours, which is kind of a long nap, but um, I didn't nap for nearly that long today. They're not yet home, which means that I'm doing okay. But this is a short, really short, I didn't realize how short it was in fact. It's only like 175 pages. It's a horror novel about um, these this group of like, I think it's black women who are monster hunters and in this world. Um, it's said in our world in the 20s, but the people in the KKK, some of them are actually monsters called Ku Kluxes. Is that what it's called? Ku Kluxes? Um, but anyways, these people are monster hunters and they're trying to hunt down these monsters. So that's where we're at so far. Um, I'm liking this. I'm really enjoying it. And it's so short that I think it'll be a really short read. I did pick this up over the weekend at Barnes and Noble. Um, I picked it up at the Barnes and Noble in the plaza in Kansas City, which I'm kind of upset that I didn't film anything in there because it's like four stories. It's huge. So um, anyways, I did get this and I'm very excited to read it. That's really the only update that I have. I just wanted to let you know that I'm still like alive and participating in this readathon, even though I haven't been as actively participating as I would like to be. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for dinner tonight. And then I'm also trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my like snack slash drink that is fall slash Halloween themed. Um, so I will be marinating on that and I will let you know when I decide something. But for the rest of the night, I'm just going to chill. Um, I might go pick food up from somewhere. I haven't decided, uh, but I do, there's like a Taco Bell near me and there's a Chipotle kind of near me. So I might pick up one of those things because I'm not really in the mood to like spend a ton of money because I did spend kind of a lot of money this weekend. But that's it. I just wanted to update you on that and I will talk to you again soon when I have an actual update on any of the things that I've started reading. Okay, hi. Hopefully this update won't be super long. I know this angle is not great, but um, I'm not reading. It's now Wednesday night. I have I have now started Salem's Lot. I'm about 30% of the way into it. I am 25% of the way into Ring Shout, which is like 50 pages, not very long. Um, but I like haven't read anything since Monday or Tuesday was yesterday. I didn't read it all yesterday. I had softball yesterday and I fell. <laughs> so I like scraped myself up. Uh, but yeah, I didn't read anything yesterday. Um, what did I do? Did I just watch YouTube all afternoon until softball? I guess so. But I'm just not reading. Um, I'm listening to Salem's Lot, like I mentioned, about 30% of the way in. Um, I don't know what's going on. I truly could not tell you a single character's name. There's a character who's a writer. There's a haunted house in Salem's Lot. They're supposed to be vampires, but I don't know where they are. I don't know if it's because I'm listening to it as an audiobook, so I'm just not like absorbing any of it, or because I'm only listening to it in such short bursts, like in my 20 minute commute to work, or not even like 15 minutes, or my on my one hour lunch break. I just don't know why I'm not able to like 
focus on it, but I don't know what's going on in that book, so I'm having a really hard time with it. Ring Shout, I am able to under, like, I understand what's going on, but I'm not as gripped by the writing or the story as I sort of hoped I would be. It's written partially in dialect, which I kind of saw coming because it's about, it's set in the 20s, and it's about these black women who are monster hunters, and they're fighting and hunting down the monsters who have become the KKK, kind of. I think it's like a demon type thing. Um, they're called Ku, Ku Kluxes, but they're monsters who hide under the sheets at KKK rallies. Um, so I, I like the concept of that a lot. I have a really hard time reading books in dialect, which I know is a me problem, but I think that's why I'm having a hard time getting into that. So I'm going to start The Chain tonight because I think this sounds, I mean, it's bigger than that one is, but I think it just sounds like something that I'll be able to fly through. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet in this vlog, if I have, I'll just cut this part out and it doesn't really matter, but this is about a like series of kidnappings in this suburban town, I'm pretty sure. Um, so essentially your kid gets kidnapped and you get told that you have to kidnap someone else's kid in order to get your kid back. Um, I don't know if there's an or what, <laughs> but the, the ransom for your kid is someone else's kid. So I'm really intrigued to see how this goes. Um, I've heard mixed things, but it sounds like it'll be something that's right up my alley. My arm is getting tired, so I am just going to go ahead and read this, and I will check in with you later tonight. Like I mentioned, it's like 9 o'clock. I'm just now eating myself up dinner. So, whoops. That's what I get. The sun is not yet. It's not dark out. It's 9 o'clock, and it's not dark outside, which is why I have not yet eaten. Because, like, in my head, it's 6 o'clock. But really, I just watched four hours of a TV show filmed and edited a video and now it's time it's time to read because I really wanted to finish three books this week at least I added a fourth one and now I don't even know if I'm gonna finish a single thing so if you're disappointed in me I'm disappointed in me too but I'm gonna read now we'll check in with you in a bit hello I'm back again it is now Thursday night um it is eight o'clock <laughs> I have not read anything today but I did finish Scam Austin, which is a remake of a Norwegian show that only did two seasons in the U.S. But if you haven't seen it and you're in the U.S., at least, I don't know where it is other places, but it's on Facebook Watch. So you can watch all the episodes for free. It's two seasons. They're like 20 to 45 minute episodes, just depending on what's in them. Um, it's super good. If you're into like Skins, Degrassi, the like teen drama shows like I am um I highly recommend it but I did get a hundred and something pages into this yesterday I'm really enjoying it it's a much quicker read than anything else I also watched Scam last night which is why I didn't finish anything I've yet to finish a book this whole this whole vlog I've started three I finished none of them I've made no more progress in the other two that I'm reading the Stephen King and the Peter Jelly Clark but I'm gonna finish this tonight hopefully and then we'll just see but I am really enjoying this. It's very thrilling. I don't think there's going to be a twist, but I think it's going to be the type of thriller where it, like, builds to a point that you, like, sort of know is coming. But, like, I'm excited to see what happens, if that makes sense. Um, but yes. Oh, and I don't know if people care about this, but it's my boyfriend's birthday today, which obviously we're not together. He's with his friends um, back in Arkansas, but I'm going down tomorrow to hang out with them. Um, and one of his friends we haven't seen in years. Um, so pretty exciting like four years like a long time um but I went to the record store with him when he was here last weekend and I think I filmed clips of that uh but there was one record that he was interested in buying but it was like $95 so he didn't buy it and <laughs> I got it for him for his birthday so Matt if you're watching this I haven't bought this today. I looked through the record store where it was last time and it wasn't there and I was like, shit, it's not here. So then I looked for a couple other things that I know we've been looking for. Um, but then I went to like the, I think it's the rare finds section because this is like a first pressing. Um, so it's a more, which is why it's so expensive. Um, but the band is page 99. If you're into heavy music, you might know them. I've heard them. I'm not a super big fan, but Matt loves them. So happy birthday, Matt. But anyways, I'm going to read now, and hopefully by the end of tonight, I will be able to update you with how this book went and how I felt about it at the end of it, because I'm determined to finish it tonight, and I think I can. It didn't take me that long to read the 120 pages that I read last night, so I'm confident. Hello, it's way later. I look crazy right now, but it's like 11.30, and I finished The Chain, and I liked it. I don't know if I loved it, but I did really enjoy it. 
Um, there's not like necessarily a twist, so I do think people were right about that. But there is like, I've mentioned this before, when I read thrillers, I like to be able to sort of, I like to put the pieces together myself. And this book is a good one if you like to do that. If you like to be like totally surprised, I don't think you'd love it as much. But for me, half the fun is calling what's gonna happen. So one thing I will say, I caught, I called at the very beginning, uh, which not in the way that it happened, but I called like kind of what would happen. I don't want to spoil anything, obviously, but I don't think I called the like quote unquote twist until you were supposed to know what the twist was. And so I do understand why people would be frustrated because it is kind of revealed to the reader earlier than I think some people who read thrillers would like it to be revealed, but I liked it. Um, I'm gonna run my cop pile rating and also I'm gonna go to bed. So I will see you tomorrow, hopefully with another update. I think tomorrow is technically the last day of Summerween, but I might just run it through the weekend just because I would like to finish the Stephen King book I have on audio, at least, if I don't finish something else, so. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I will talk to you at some other point to close this vlog because I refuse to believe that this is the last book that I'm going to finish this week. Hello, it's Sunday night. Um, it's like 10 o'clock, I think. I got back from Arkansas today. I ate dinner and I finished Rainy Shout, finally. Um, I tried to finish Salem's Lot uh, in the car as an audiobook. Um, I think I still have like 10 hours left of that audiobook. I'm only like 40% of the way into it. So I might have like nine hours left of it. I don't really know. Um, but my Libby app kept crashing. I don't know if other people have this problem. My app will just disconnect from the internet and then until I'm on Wi-Fi again, it won't like it won't use data to connect sometimes and it just kind of drives me crazy and other times it'll disconnect and then it will only play at one time speed which is just so slow i find that my mind really wanders if it's not on at least like 1.75 to 2.5 so i don't know if other people have that problem but like i cannot concentrate on something that's like a slower pace than what i'm used to i think is what it is uh, but anyways, so I did not finish that book, unfortunately. So I only finished two books this week, which kind of sucks. Like I was kind of ex expecting to finish at least three or four, but um, unfortunately, sometimes life just doesn't go the way you expect it. Also, I know that this technically ended on Friday, I think, but I mentioned that I wanted to finish Rain Shout, so I would at least finish two books, and I did that. So this, um, I gave four stars to. I did really enjoy it. It's written entirely in dialect, and then parts of the characters or parts of it, uh, the characters speak Gala, I think is how that's pronounced, which is a different dialect of English, kind of. Um, there's also characters who speak Creole, which is like a French English dialect type thing. I don't really know that much about languages um, or dialects of English spoken by black people in the United States um, from slavery times to like post-slavery, etc. I don't know that much about it, uh, but it was interesting to learn about it and learn about ring shots and how they're actually were a thing. Um, they were like songs that slaves would sing, essentially, I, is, is my understanding of it. But um, this was pretty good. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it took me a long time to get into it, I think because it's written in dialect, but being written in dialect is like really important for the story. So I understand why it was written that way. Um, but yes, this is so action packed as well. Like this is such a short book, but I feel like so much happens. Um, which is incredible. And also because it was so short, I was expecting there to be a lot of like loose ends, but there really weren't. So I really enjoyed that as well. Um, I would highly recommend this. There is a lot of body horror in this and there were definitely parts of this that like made me shudder and gave me the creeps, um, which I don't always love reading. Uh, I just don't always think that that kind of element of horror translates well in written word, but I thought it was really well done here. So yes, I did really enjoy this. And then I've already mentioned The Chain. I also gave this four stars, I think. Or did I give this three stars? This was between a three and a four star, I think, for me. But I think it ended up being four stars. Uh, this is divided into two parts, um, which I did not know going into it. Uh, I, thought, I felt that the action for the first part kind of wrapped up kind of quickly. But I also felt like there's a lot of buildup in this book. And then 
the payoff is kind of quick. So it's like blink, if you, blink and you might miss it type of thing. Um, but I did really enjoy it. I did find it satisfying. It's definitely not my like favorite book of all time. Like I don't think either of these are my favorite book of all time now, but this is definitely a lot more nuanced. Um, and this is, this is the type of book that I feel like, sorry, I'm going back and forth between them. Um, but Ring Shout, I think is the type of book that like you could really benefit from reading this in a class setting or like with someone who has studied this because there's so much in here that I feel like you could get out of it. Whereas this one, the chain is just, it's a little more simplified. Like it's, it's a more basic plot. Um, there's also not any fantasy elements going on in this one, whereas this one, obviously, they're hunting monsters, and there are, like, other dimensions, and there's all sorts of folklore and myth and fantasy woven into it, which was really interesting, um, and I did really enjoy this, but saying that, I think, I don't really know what the difference between, like, fantasy and paranormal is, to be honest, I'm, I'm an idiot, okay? I don't know very many things about very much, so. So, I'm gonna count this for the paranormal prompt, uh just because I can. So I, this is my channel. I make the rules and that's what I'm going to do. So this I'm going to count for the reading at night. This I'm going to count for the paranormal and horror. So I, I win. I won summer week with my two books, but um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of all over the place and I know I was kind of in a slump. Um, so sorry if that's not super exciting for you. Uh, but if you did make it to this point in the video, leave me a ghost emoji. Uh, in the comments down below and let me know if you participated in Summerween and if your Summerween was more successful than mine hopefully or just how many books you read how you felt about them um, and if you've read either of these books please let me know in the comments down below how you felt about them um, and if you think I should not DNF Salem's Lot please let me know that as well uh, yeah that's it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye